Andrew Shaw may like and sound like your typical English man. But this Brit has managed to master her craft, long considered to be the domain of Chinese artists. For example, I think this one is one of my nicest designs. This is the one that represents harmony. Shaw is the first foreign face among China's jade covers, and by his age may mask his experience. I'm, a, I'm an apprentice. I've only been studying for three or four years. Despite dubbing himself as a novice, Shaw is one of the country's rising stars. A former BBC reporter, he earned praise for braving war zones and covering tragedies like Taiwan Wang. Now Shaw's been just awarded another honor. He's been crowned winner of the Zigang competition, one of China's top awards for jade carving. I never expected in my wildest dreams ever to win any sort of medal. I think they're being very kind. So my, my jades are very, very simple. So I think really what has happened is they've given this strange old foreigner great face by giving him uh, a medal for his very, very simple jades. In China, jade has always been viewed as a symbol of happiness. And Shaw says despite his illustrious journalism career, it's this newfound craft he finds most interesting. Um, my heart is young, but my hands are old. So my, my jades are very, very simple. What I do is very, very different from what uh, Ch Chinese jade carvers do. But I've learned so much from Chinese jade carvers. Here at his studio in the southern city of Suzhou, the heart of China's jade carving industry, Shaw spends his days bent over pieces of the precious stone. His called this place Yu Mo, a tribute to his self-professed obsession with the stone. But this design in black jade represents harmony. And this is American black jade, which is very, very good black jade, carved by an Englishman who learned to carve in China. Artists say Shaw's arrival on the Chinese jade scene signals change within the Asian industry. His rise is hoped to promote more exchange between Chinese and Western artists. I may be the first, but the world is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller, and it's so easy for people to travel from one country to another. So I think now that I've done it, perhaps many others will do it, and I hope many Chinese jade carvers will also go abroad. It's hard to imagine just five years ago, Shaw knew nothing about jade carving. It was on holiday in Thailand, he made what proved to be a life-changing discovery. And I came to a small uh, jade factory. Yeah, it's a tourist jade factory, but in it they had real jade. And I walked in, and I saw a little Buddha in uh, lavender jade. And I thought, that's very beautiful. Show me that piece of jade. And when it was in my hand, then I fell in love with jade. I don't know why. There was something the way my heart was so clear and my head was so clear and the jade was so beautiful. While still at the BBC in London, Shaw started moonlighting as a jade researcher. After his mother and sister passed away within two years of each other, Shaw took stock of his life. When I was a BBC reporter, most of the time, or half the time, I was not at home. I was in hotels, sometimes in dangerous places, like I covered 9-11, and quite often I was in places where people didn't want me to be, because I'm a reporter. He retired from journalism and started traveling. Inspired by his love of jade, he came to China. I retired, I traveled for a bit, then I came to China, because I know that China is the place to carve jade. China is the home of jade. And if I wanted to know about jade, if I wanted to learn about jade, I had to be in China. He set out to learn how to carve jade from scratch. Shaw knew he needed a teacher, jade carver Wu Fan. Uh, I remember it was probably in the summer of 2008. He came to me and said that he loved Chinese traditional jades and wanted to learn jade carving. I said that he was a little old for studying jade carving. He said that it didn't matter as he would take it up as a hobby. I agreed to teach him since at that time I was teaching some apprentices and I had carving machines available. 
Shaw's love of jade has brought him love of different kind. His wife Jing Adong. This bracelet is a gift from him. When he decided to marry me, he wanted to send me a special gift. He said that jade was the most suitable. Inspired by Shaw's persistence and patience for both jade and her hand, Jing agreed. He's different from others in that he loves challenges. Take his career change for example. Studying jade carving is a very tough job. What makes it even tougher is that he is a foreigner, and that he has to learn Chinese at the same time. If I was 25, it would be much easier. Sometimes I would get home. And I would be so tired, and I'd be sitting there, and I'm thinking, "Why am I doing this? I must be mad." But then I would sleep. I would sleep very well, and I'd get up and I'd start again. Shaw hopes to make his mark on the industry here. So, my dream is that,、uh, let's say, I carve a beautiful piece of jade. Then, yeah, in 500 years, someone looks at that piece of jade. They won't know who's carved it. That doesn't matter. But they will know it's beautiful.